Alright, so it's time to start taking a look here um, at this software update. Uh, so, let's see. Hmm, pretty much the same. Um, let's go ahead and check a few bugs out. Whoa. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, adjust the volume a bit. There we go. That's what I wanted to hear. That scared me a little bit. Actually, so that sounds like a new bug that's been introduced. Lock and unlock don't always play. Alright, let's check settings. See if there's anything new in the... Settings in you. Uh, absolutely nothing new. So I'm going to see a little accessibility right there, but... This, that looks like a really cool feature. It does a lot of really interesting stuff. And I really would like to play around with it, but, you know, I mean, it's not about Dutch. Second generation, what can you expect? Um, let's see. <coughs> um, louder keyboard clicks? Let's find out. Um, hoping. I kind of like loud keyboard clicks. Oh, it doesn't sound like it. Yeah, and there's the quiet one there, too. So, that's still obviously there. Let's try this bug out. Whoops, I messed, well, it still works, though. Um, so, it looks like, let's find out if this works, still. Oh, that doesn't work, either. Let's go ahead and close that, and see what would happen if we set this to something different. Um, let's set to home. Yeah, and does this, like, close instantly? Uh, it closes pretty instantaneous. Pretty, pretty instantaneous. I'm pretty sure... Oh, crap. We don't want to go on maps. Why did I do that? <coughs> as soon as my finger leaves the button. And this time, it really seems to be clicking. Oh, crap. Why do I keep opening maps? Okay. Um, no, it's... The clicking is working. Except there. It's quite lame, and I want to get you guys a good view. There, and again, let's see if we can get the click. I think that was a click. And one more time, slow... Yeah, that was a good click. Um, so it looks like everything's still pretty much the same except for those bug fixes. So um, you guys are going to have the same experience as you would on a normal on 3.1 except with those bug fixes. By the way, what are these bug fixes? I forgot to read you what the features are that this comes with. It's part of my bad handwriting, but I can read it. It resolves issue that causes iPod... That's a weird way to write iPod. <laughs> iPod Touch to not wake up. <coughs> to not wake from sleep. So, if your iPod Touch will not wake up from sleep mode, um, that's pretty much been fixed. Number two, I have a feeling this is for iPhone only. Video streaming crash bug fix. Uh, I, thought, I think video streaming means uploading video, so um, that could be that. I'm also wondering, I really... They didn't say it, but what if the, uh, Wi-Fi bug gets fixed? You're just gonna go and let this sit here for, like, 30 minutes, 30 seconds, excuse me. <coughs> um, so, uh, yeah, let me see. If you're interested in, um, my blog, please go check it out over there. Link is in the description. I posted a post about this, obviously, as you saw in, uh, in the earlier part of this video. So go check that out. That would be really nice of you. Um... And I think this has been a long enough wait, so let's see. Internet. Bang. bang. See, my internet is kind of weird. It takes it a long time to load. And sometimes, like, it takes it a full, like, 30 seconds. Sometimes even a minute. But, um, I've noticed that, um, at some really good Wi-Fi hotspots, such as my church, my church's sanctuary has Wi-Fi <clears throat> in it. Which, it makes absolutely no sense, but, um, I mean, you know, so, like, that is actually got, it's got really good Wi-Fi, and it loads up instantly. As soon as I slide to unlock, bang, it's right there. Sometimes there is a five-second wait required, but it's pretty quick. Uh, I've noticed in places like Panera Bread, it's a little slower, but not as slow as it is here, uh, most of the time, usually. Um... And, but, you know, it's, uh, it's very weird, and that was not the case when I had 2.2.1. I seriously think that when I had 2.2.1, I had, I had the, op uh, I could <coughs> open my iPod Touch, and it would instantly load up Wi-Fi. It just, there's no waiting time whatsoever, 
And I remember when I got 3.0, I was a little bit disappointed by that factor. I, I think 3.0 was a pretty big disappointment, and 3.1 was a big improvement. If you don't think that 3.1 was a good update, I say it was. And I'm going to say that 3.1.2 is even better if it has these bug fixes, which sound pretty annoying. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and let you know on that. So go ahead and go ahead and download it. I mean, yeah, absolutely. I don't know if it's free. I mean, it is. it was free for me, obviously, because I already had 3.1. And 3.1.1, and um, iPhone users, it should be free. It is also available for iPhone, uh, for all three of them, and I'm pretty sure that this is available for all three iPod Touches. Um, I'm kind of wondering about the first and third generation, though, because <coughs> I never did read that uh, extra little thing. I don't know if that came up on camera while I was doing that. Why am I whapping my iPod with tweezers? That's very interestingly odd. You don't whap things with tweezers. You pinch things with tweezers. <laughs> Okay, um, yeah, sorry if I felt sounded kind of weird in this video, I'm sick, um, and, uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys, um, hopefully this video has helped you out, I do recommend you download this, I will probably have a more in-depth review later, I need to start doing these, uh, software update reviews more often, um, tell you if there's a increase in performance or whatever, I don't think there is, I think all that was listed is all the new updates, I might, so there might not be a review, but thanks for watching, guys, um, and, uh, adios. It's been long enough video, so bye-bye. Alright, guys, um, this might be something I try and do at the end of each of these videos. This is a quick trick. This is the calculator trick. Um, there's actually two that I know. One is that the calculator, and this has been ever since 3.0, you can actually copy what's in the calculator by either holding it or double-clicking. But then another one, this is something that I don't know if anybody knows about this. I just figured this out. If you slide... This would be kind of a quick slide. You can see that it erases numbers one by one. So if you make a mistake while typing out an equation, like let's say I meant to type a seven there and I typed, no, oh, that's lame. If I meant to type a nine and I typed a six, all I got to do is just slide like that and then I can replace it with a nine. <coughs> and from what I know, there's no way you can fix any middle numbers. Maybe if you tapped it and then did it. Okay, we'll tap this two right there. So just tap, slide. Oh. So instead of having to kick clear and just doing it all over again, whoops, you can just um, do that. And um, that's it. Let's see, I think it also works in landscape. Except I hate the landscape keyboard. Look at how small these buttons are. And yeah, and you can tap twice and hit copy. And then you can go in notes or whatever. And it will paste out the answer. It does not show you your work. <clears throat> it would be nice if it did. I believe the iPod Touch has the capability... Oh, that time it didn't work. I believe the iPod Touch has the capability of doing that. Like, it, it could be capable of doing that if that were only a functionality of it. But apparently it's not, so whatever. What do we have to complain? It doesn't matter. Just, I don't know. Just, yeah. And so, I don't recommend using the iPod Touch as your main calculator. I just recommend buying uh, a better one, like a TI-84, which <coughs> is much better. And it's also not as scientific. It's a normal, like, graphing. So, um, yeah, that was kind of a nerdy thing for nerds. <laughs> Although, non-nerd people will probably find that useful, too, if they use their iPhones all the time for business and use calculator. Um, so... And that's all the tricks I can think of for now. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Adios.